Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. We have Pilates for back strength today and I've designed this class to be suitable if you have any disc injuries such as herniated disc or slip disc, disc bulge as well as degenerative disc disease. What I need from you is to listen to your body and practice with care. If there is a movement that feels uncomfortable for you, I'd like you to reduce your range of movement, check your body alignment. And if this is still uncomfortable, I'd like you to just eliminate the exercise and go back to the breathing and the transverse abdominus exercise. And we will need a long scarf for our class today. So let's go ahead, meet me on a mat. We're going to start with some breathing exercise. So I'd like you to kneel upright, lifting up the spine, and just check your alignment here. Make sure that you have a vertical alignment from your ears, shoulder, pelvis, and the knee. And take care that you're not too much into an anterior tilt with the pelvis or tuck under and hanging in your back, drawing your center. So. Let's grab the scarf and let's do some breathing. So I want you to wrap the scarf around the lower rib cage here and just cross the scarf at the front and really try to lift that spine as tall as possible. So we're going to do our diaphragmatic breathing here. We inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And as we inhale, Allow the rib cage to expand into the scalp. And as you exhale, the rib cage deflate. And you can add a little pull at the end to tighten up the scarf around the rib cage. And inhale, loosen up. Expand the rib cage. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue breathing and inhale and exhale. Now as you inhale, really try to make sure that you don't hyper extend the ribs out and collapse back onto the spine. Really your spine is staying nice and long and it's just a rib cage expanding about 360 into the scalp. And then exhale, deflating. Again, in breath. Exhale. Observe how your breath is today. Do you feel any part of the rib cage that's a little sticky to there, like as if it doesn't like to expand? So maybe put a focus on that area. One more. Okay, now let's move the scarf just above the hip bones here and then wrap the scarf in front of you and straighten the arms long underneath you. And we breathe again, inhale, rib cage expanding. As we exhale, I like you to deliberately draw in the lower abdominal and then give a little pull at the end. Inhale. Loosen up the grip. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Deliberately draw in the abdominal and tighten the scalp at the end as you really deflate the rib cage. And again, in breath. So what we're doing here, we are recruiting our deep transverse abdominis muscle, our natural corset muscle as we breathe out. In breath. That TVA muscle is going to give you that support internally. And that will help you to strengthen your back muscle. Shh. 
Let's do two more times. Last one here. And hold that. I'd like you to remember to recruit your deep TVA muscles in the abdominal exercises that we will be doing on a mat. All right, and let it go. Put the scarves away to one side. Go ahead and lie on your back. The safest way is to go ahead and lie on the side and then turn your body to lie on the back. Okay, so bend the knees, half your feet in a parallel position. Now let's go ahead and stretch our glute, our bottom muscles. So take the right leg up and bring the ankle on top of the left thigh and then loop your right arm through the hole of the leg and then grab to the back of the left thigh. And I want you to release the pelvis down to the floor. So pull the left thigh towards you and use your right elbow to push the right thigh away and you will feel a stretch in your gluteal muscles, the bottom muscles on the right side. And we stay here, keeping the spine nice and long on the floor as we in breath. And as we exhale, I want you to try if you can pull the thigh closer towards your chest without lifting the bottom up. So rest the bottom down and keep the spine rather long. And in breath, expanding the rib cage. Exhale, deeper hip compression as you push the right thigh away with the elbow. Two more breath. One more. And gently release the left foot down and then release the right leg and let's bring the left leg up and right left ankle on the right thigh. Loop your left arm through the leg and behind your right thigh. Inhale, as you elongate the spine down on the floor, we bring the thigh closer towards the chest and use the left elbow to push away the left thigh. Exhale. Again, in breath, lengthening the spine down. Exhale. And in breath. Let's do one more time. and let it go. Lower the right foot down, release the left foot. Okay, now let's move on to some hip circle. Lift the right leg up, hold the center, grab the knee or the shin, pull the belly in, second leg come up. Okay, now have your knees separated apart, bring the thigh towards you, open the thigh and pull the thigh away. Circling to you, out and away. Exhale, out, and again, keep that abdominal active. So when you pull the leg away that you do not end up arching your back, try to maintain the placement of the pelvis constant at all times. Inhale, gently rolling the hip. Exhale, one more. And then let's reverse direction away, out, and away from your chest, out and towards you. In breath, and two more, last one, and okay, lower one foot, Second foot, well done. All right, half your feet, hip width apart. So align your heels with the center of your hip and the knees will be pointing upward. Your arms along by the side. 
It's about nine, it's about 45 degree angles at the knee here. Take an in breath. As we exhale, I want you to recruit that deep TVA muscle, transverse abdominis muscle. Press the feet down and just curl the pelvis slightly to engage the lower abs. And then I want you to press the pelvis up to a bridge position here. Hold the center, arms are long. Inhale at the top. As we exhale, we fall through the hip joint and we lower the pelvis down. Exhale, abdominal in, curl just very slightly, press the feet and lift the pelvis up. The arms are long by the side, in breath. Exhale, folding through the hip joint, keeping the spine nice and long and lower down. Exhale, slight curl. Now go to a position that is, feels comfortable for you. So you may not go as high as I am doing today. Maybe you go halfway down. That is absolutely fine, but I just want you to be comfortable in this movement. And exhale, come on down. And lift. In breath, we hold. Exhale, folding through the hip. Keep the spine long and lower the pelvis. Two more times. We press. Hold in breath. And exhale, we go down. Last one. We press. Hold in breath. Exhale, we come down. Brilliant. Okay, now here, take an in breath, moving on to our leg lift. Exhale, recruit your TBA here. So your abdominals working, your deep back muscles working too. And then take the left leg up to a tabletop position. Knee over the hip joint and the shin is parallel to the ground. Really contract the natural corset inside you as you lift the position. And we lower down from the hip joint. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. You can lift your head a little bit for me and then just check if your pelvis is in a good alignment. It's balanced on the left and the right. Two more. One last. Stay. Opposite hand pressing. So right hand pressing on the inside of the left thigh. I want you to press the thigh to your hand and the thigh and the hands against your thigh as you breathe out. So inhale. Exhale, pressing against each other. Stay there for five, four, three, two, one. And release. One more time. Exhale, abdominal deflate and pressing. Five, four, three, two, one. And release. Lower the foot down. Bring the other leg up. Stabilize the pelvis and we lift. And we lower. Exhale, in breath, exhale, in breath. It's important that you really try to keep the pelvis stable and lower and moving the leg from the hip joint only, not by folding and extending the knee. One more, we lift, stay. Left hand pressing against the right thigh inside of the right thigh, in breath, exhale, we press, five, belly in, four, three, two, one, and release, one more time, exhale, we press, five, four, three, two, one, and release, lower the foot down, stretch the left leg down on the floor, keeping the pelvis stable, Take the arm, the left arm overhead, flex the foot, take an in breath, exhale, recruit your tibia muscle as you stretch the leg and the arm over, away from each other, and try not to arch your back. Keep it in, keep the spine long, and release. Two more times. Exhale, lengthen the foot, lengthen the arm, draw in that tibia, and stay there, five. Four, three, two, 
one and release one more time exhale reaching reaching away hold the center really tense abdominal three two one and let it go bring the foot in bring the arm down other leg extend the right leg long on the floor right arm overhead allow the ribs to settle down in breath exhale reach up and down in opposition and contract that tba five four three two one and release two more times exhale stretch up and down recruit the abs five four three two one and release last one reaching out lengthening out hold the abdominal five four three two one and release bring the arm down bring the leg in now let's move on to our leg changes a slightly more challenging we take the left leg up to the tabletop here we recruit the deep tva do not bulge the belly out now take the right leg up as you lower the left leg down exhale change exhale change the app contain the spine in that neutral position exhale two more sets last set last one both legs are up and table top press the hands on against the thigh as we breathe up we push down and hold it hold it hold it and release again exhale we press down and maintain the abdominal contraction and release one more time exhale press down maintain the abdominal contraction and release now one two two let go of your left arm down press the right hand against the right thigh and breathe that stretch the left leg out maintain the abdominal in breath come back in exhale in breath coming in three more exhale in breath two more hold the spine use the abdominal last one the deep deep tva muscle and bring it in left hand left thigh right arm is down exhale press down as you extend the right leg out in breath again exhale in breath my left arm is actively pressing against the left thigh here and return exhale and one more exhale and bring it in and we lower one foot second foot and well done all right let's turn your body face me and grab the scarf lying on the side stack the legs in a clamp position so have your feet in line with the pelvis and i want you to just loop the scarf underneath your waistline here all right and then grab the end of the scarf above you okay so we have our legs stacked up right we have the chest open i want you to just collapse the waist down here and now i want you to as you breathe out think about someone's or think about your scarf pulling this your waistline up so that you can recruit the lower oblique to bring the spine back in a straight alignment and we lower exhale recruit the tba lift the waist suspend the waist up and down you can use your arm here to really lift your waist up and lower two more lift thing up 
and last one. And now stay up, let go of the scarf. All right, now I want you to bring your hand on the pelvis, lift the feet up, still have the lower waist engaged, and open the thigh and close. And out and close. Pelvis is stable and close. And four, we're going to do 10 here. And five and six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold the center, hold it for five, four, three, two, one. We close and we lower. Right, interlace the hands in the back of your head here. All right, maintain that lift in the waistline. We inhale, open the arm, open the elbow up, and then rotate the trunk to where you feel comfortable and look behind you. Exhale, recruit that TBA, bring your center back. Bring your spine back, facing forward. Again, inhale. Notice that I still have my bottom waist lifted as I rotate back and lift and close. Only rotate to where you feel comfortable with your spine. And exhale. One more, elbow, spine rotate, and exhale, and bring it in. Okay, excellent. Help yourself up, and let's go to the other side. So we have our scarf underneath the waistline. Stack the leg, feet aligned with the pelvis, bottom arm is long. Okay, and let's grab the end of the scarf. All right, now we're gonna slouch down. Then we exhale, we lift and pick up the waistline up. And we collapse down. Exhale, lift and lower and Let's bend. Two more. Lower. And last one. Lower. Then we stay. Let go of the scar. Keep the bottom waist lifted. Hand on the hip. Lift the feet up and open. And close. And two. There is still a gap underneath the waistline as you open and close the leg. And four. And five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And we hold on a ten. Stay. Hold that for five. Hold four, three, two, one. Close the knee, lower the foot. Awesome. Interlace the hands to the back of the head here for chest opener. We inhale, elbow open, and we rotate through the spine, looking back behind you. And we close. Come forward, inhale, open, and rotate. Exhale, in breath, and rotate. Exhale, one more please, in breath, and rotate. Exhale, and Good job, all right. Help yourself up, let's come up. And let's put the scarf away for a second. Come and sit down. 
in a diamond like position here, perching on your sit bone here. The spine stays nice and long. Ears, shoulder, pelvis in one alignment, hands on the knees. Take an in breath, exhale, recruit your TBA. Lean the body forward in a flat back and come back. In breath, recruit the TBA and lean the body forward. Exhale, upright again. In breath, lean, spine is long and back. Last one. And forward. And back. And again. Take your arms up to the sky. In breath. Exhale. Abdominal in. Inhale. Lean forward. Exhale. Upright. Again. Two more. And lean forward. Back. Last one. Lean forward. Back. And interlace a hand behind your head. Take a knee breath. We rotate the spine. Exhale. Inhale. Center. Exhale. We grow tall as we return. We maintain that length as we rotate and center. We want to create space in between each vertebra. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Two more sets. Last set. Last one, and back, and release. Let's go to our modified quadruped position. So have your shoulder aligned with the wrist and bring the knee forward so that your pelvis, your hip joint, is somewhere in between the heel and the knee here. We in breath. As we exhale, I want you to recruit your TBA. So support the spine with the abdominals. Really pull in the abdominals so it's nice and tight. And again. Exhale. Chest is open. Drawing that TVA, that natural corset. In breath. Two more. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Now stay. I want you to extend your left leg out without disturbing the pelvis position and the spine. And keep that abdominal engaged. And exhale, hold. Take an in breath. We're gonna lift the leg up and lower. Everything else stay still and lower. And lower. And lower. Three more. Two. One, bring the leg in, take an in breath, exhale, wrap the abdominal without changing anything else. I'm gonna, I want you to just slide the left leg out, in breath, exhale, wrap the belly in, and then we'll lift. And Let's go four more, three, two, one, and lower, bring the leg in and just sit back. Take your arms forward just for a second and then transfer yourself down to the floor. So lying on your belly, I wanted to stack the left arm the right arm on top 
of the left palm here. Your elbows is wide, your forehead resting onto your hand here. Now, leg is long or legs are long. Take an in breath. As you exhale, I want you to recruit the abdominal and lengthen the lower spine. So you feel this little space underneath the belly and release. Again, exhale. Recruit that TBA. Create space underneath the belly button. And two more. And we'll lift. You're going to lift the abdominal up so that you can actually slip your hand through underneath the belly. And release. One more. Lift that belly up. Lifting and release. Now exhale, lift the belly up, press the arm down, glide the shoulder blades. Now try not to collapse in the lower back as you lift the upper back, the middle back into extension. I still want you to have a gap underneath the abdominal. And we lower down again. Exhale, the belly comes up. Inhale. The chest comes up without losing that abdominal connection. And we go down with the chest again. Abdominal, glide the shoulder blades down. Inhale, upper back, middle back. Exhale, lower the chest. And exhale, lift the belly. Inhale, shoulder blades. Back, left, exhale, down with the chest and lower. Now, take your arms to the side of your thigh for our back extension here. We exhale, again, we're going to hollow the abdominal here so your lower spine is long. We're going to inhale to lift the upper back. Exhale, we come down and don't let go of the abdominal. Inhale to lift. Exhale, to come down. Again, inhale, send the sitting bone down to your feet as we lift the back. Again, your lower spine is active. And down. And the abdominal is always active. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come down. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come down. Last one. Inhale, lift. Up, up. Exhale, we come down. Well done. Bend the elbows, bring the arm. The forearm on the side of the shoulder. Pull the belly in. Push down with the forearm. Round the back. And gently bring the pelvis to sit down on the heels. You can have the knee slightly wider if you wish to. And try to keep the back as long as possible. We stay in this rest position as we breathe in. And we breathe out. And we breathe in. And we breathe out. One more. We breathe in. And we breathe out. And we roll the spine up. We got one more. Take the feet forward here. Take your hands behind you, the arms are long, the chest is open for our modified back support. So we work on the abdominal, we work on the back extensors, take a knee breath here, we press down with the feet, we lift the pelvis, we keep the neck in alignment with the rest of the spine. We fall through the hip and we sit the pelvis down, just touching, and then we're gonna press up again, opening the chest. And lower, again, we press, we lower, three more, press, we lower, two more, make sure your feet are in the parallel position, have a little sneak peek, and lower, last one, we press, we lower and we rest the bottom down. 
Feet together, knee out. Take an in-breath. Exhale, lean forward. Arms down. And just stay here. In-breath. Exhale, see if you can rest your elbow onto your thigh, onto your knee and push the thigh away, but keep that spine long. One more. And come up. And my friend, you are done for the day. Thank you for following the class and joining me on a mat. Make sure you keep yourself mobile today. Don't sit down straight away just yet. Loosen up that back, maybe go for a walk. All right, and I'd love to see you back on the mat again tomorrow. So have a great day, take care. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos Focus on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.